another five minute video. Domain of a function, AP calculus, AB. Uh, this is actually the beginning of the course. I just want to make sure that on the multiple choice section, there's going to be these kind of algebra questions and we have to be really good at them. So to find the domain, let me remind you please that domain is, I, I've heard so many people say, well, domain isn't that the x values. It's the possible x values. And sometimes we, the possible x values are limited by by numbers that can't work and we look here and here we have this radical here we have an we have the square root here right and we know that that this number x in here has to be greater than or equal to zero because think about this we can't take the square root of negative 25 and get a real answer and I know some of you said oh yeah no no Charlie the answer is 5i but that i is for imaginary which means not real and and what you're going to be asked is what are the real solutions so we have to look at the domain here so this is what we know. We know that this value inside here has got to be greater than or equal to zero. So we, we say, when is that true? We say x is greater than or equal to zero. Well, x is greater than or equal to zero when x is greater than or equal to zero. This will make more sense to you. My description of that will make more sense to you when we look at this. That this We have this 1 minus x here. And we know that this 1 minus x must also be greater than or equal to zero because the square root of zero makes sense. The square root of zero is zero. The square root of a positive number while not always really easy to take, at least it's possible, but it's not possible to take the square root of a negative number and get a real solution. So I'm going to take this, and then it's going to solve here. And that's going to give us the domain. So some quick algebra, we get a negative x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Now this is where people kind of screw this up sometimes, because what right? we're not supposed to solve for negative x, we're supposed to solve for x. So we're going to multiply that whole thing by negative 1, which would give us x we make x positive and negative times a negative is this is positive, right? But you have to remember that when you multiply an inequality, I'm going to say it again, when you multiply an inequality by a negative number, the inequality switches. So it's, it, here it says greater than or equal to, it turns into less than or equal to. Okay? So our solution here, I'm going to take these, this piece to get, these pieces together and say, well, x is greater than or equal to zero and also you see we have here we have x so we have x here is less than or equal to one all right and if this is if, you're, if this is bothering you like what that, what happened with this think about this for a second um, seven this is just my example to arithmetically prove why you flip the sign seven is greater than five isn't it that's a truth, isn't it? But if I multiply that whole thing by negative 1 or any negative number, I'll get negative 7 is greater than negative 5? Question mark. Somebody's going to comment. Question mark. Is that true? No, it's not true because the inequality has got to be switched. And if we, when we switch the inequality, then we get a true statement again. And negative 7, in fact, is less than negative 5. All right? Let's do one more of these together and then and then see where we end up. I'm really looking for your comments. So find the domain. So we're looking for a domain, and you're going to see it written with that D like that a lot in notation. So this one is going to let this be f of x is greater than the square root of, I'm going to write this in a different color, of x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now again, we're looking at this thing, and we have to realize that that this rad that no value under this radical can be negative. This whole thing over here has got to be greater than or equal to zero. So a student asked me today, well, why don't we do it like we did the last problem? And the reason that I don't do this the way I did the last problem is because I feel like there's an easier way to do this. So I can picture how I'm going to do this. And what, what I would do is I would factor this out. I would factor this out. And this factors to x, what is it? Yeah, x minus, whoops, sorry x minus 2 times x minus 1. Isn't that right? Which means that this thing has zeros at x equals 2 and x equals 1. Now, if you don't mind, if we can graph this really quickly, I think that you'll agree with me. Look, I think we can see this. So here's our Cartesian plane, right? And if I go to graph this blue function here, it looks like this, I think, if you don't mind, kind of like that, all right? And look at this for a second. It has a zero here and a zero here, doesn't it? And this is one and this is two. Well, look at the values of f of x right in here. And the values of f of x 
in here are all less than zero. That means they're going to give us negative values. And if you wanted to try that, you could just take this part in here, and you could solve. You could take f of 1.5, and you're going to get a negative number in here. But the square root of a negative number is undefined, right? It doesn't make any sense, right? So what I've done here is this. I realize that this whole area, this whole interval in here is excluded. So my answer for this one is going to be this, is that the domain is x such that x, right? And I'm going to, x, let me do it in this notation, is to 1, including 1, union 2, comma, positive infinity. Remember this notation here. This rounded notation means not included, and, and negative uh, infinity is not included because it can't be captured. But one is included. This is union means including both p both sets here, all numbers from two, including two, all the way to positive infinity, right? To positive infinity. So that's how I would. That's how I would make the domain of that. Set. Somebody's going to write to me and they're going to say, I would have done this differently. I get it. What my interest here is, when is this thing, right? When is interior, in this specific case, less than zero? When is the interior of that negative? And it's only negative because this is parabolic. It's only negative in this interval from one to two. So I can just include it by making these inclusive sets here, right? Okay. Hope this was helpful. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I hope you're subscribing to my page because when you do I, I tend to hear more from you so um, thank you study a lot